Alright, so I'm up in True right now, and um, no Marvel Legends, unfortunately, but uh, I didn't really expect them yet anyway. But anyway, we've got like 45 bucks in rewards card money, so I was going to save them until Legends came out, but they, uh, what's, I don't know, but they like go bad in a week or two, so I just thought while I was, while I was here, isn't it strange? I mean... Yeah, it's like Power Rangers, but it's a Figwarts figure. Like, these are Japanese imports. Why do they have them at uh, Toys R Us? You know what I mean? And they're going for 35 bucks. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to get this. This Renegade Firefly. And this dumb Iron Man. Alright, so I got the uh, Renegades, Joe, and the uh, Iron Man, and then I also got this Harvey Dent for custom. So, yeah. Alright, guys, comic books for the week. Um, this isn't the way I normally do it, but I already finished reading them. Um, yeah, this is Avenging Spider-Man issue 3, and uh, I wanted to show some funny parts. Uh... Well, also just some other things. I was just curious, like, whenever Spider-Man gets hit in the face, that part of his eye, it always, like, shatters. I'm not, I never really knew if it was glass or not, but, uh, kind of looks like glass. I don't know. And Spider-Man defeats this giant moloid by cutting off his belt, thus making his pants fall. And that actually wins him the battle. <laughs> So yeah, that was Avenging Spider-Man number three. It was really good, really funny. Uh, and it seems like it's the end of this arc, but uh, not for long. It seems like a follow-up arc is either going to be coming right up next or soon after. Also got Venom issue number 12. This was really good. Venom actually went bulky this time. Like, he went crazy. Can't control the symbiote. This one was like... Super nice. I mean, Venom is actually, like, really good. It's probably up there as one of my favorite uh, comics right now. I just think it's a unique story. That's really cool. Whoa. <laughs> Shake a cam. Um, and then Uncanny X-Force issue 20. This was pretty good. Continues the same art style by whoever. I don't really love it. It's a little bit too cartoony, but, um, nice story. Um, a little bit disappointed because Nightcrawler... Uh, really doesn't seem to be, like, what I had, uh, what I had thought was going to happen was through this Nightcrawler, this was how Nightcrawler was going to come back to life in the 616 universe. It would just be the Age of Apocalypse Nightcrawler, and he would be there. But, um, seems like he really doesn't want to be there at all. Like, the only reason he's really staying is for his own personal gains, and then he wants to go back. So, I mean... That's kind of depressing, just because I was hoping it would come back, but who knows. Maybe we'll uh, get the original, the real Nightcrawler to come back somehow. So, yeah. Alright, now this guy is an extremely underrated figure. I don't think I've seen anyone in the ACBA community who's picked this guy up, or used him in a display, or anything of the sorts. Now... It's Hasbro's fault, and not the sculptors over at Hasbro, but whoever it is, I'm guessing the design team or something that names the figure. Now, they released this figure, calling it Hulkbuster Iron Man, and there's two problems that the ACBA community and the Marvel Legends community have with that name, and why we're not buying it. And this is the first problem. Okay. Yeah. He's tiny. He's very small. And here is the second problem. He's even smaller when compared to the Hulk. Now, if they hadn't titled this guy Worm or uh Hulkbuster Iron Man, and I do realize that this is not the first uh, 
release of this guy. He was released in an earlier three pack uh, of the Iron Man two line, but this guy is a great figure. If you're just gonna have him as an Iron Man figure, that is. So first of all, he's got this backpack jetpack thing, which personally I don't really like it at all. It is removable, thank God. Um, so there's that. And then after that, you just get down to an amazing sculpt. Um, very unique armor. Uh, bulky, but not huge. Um, and I, I'm very appreciative that they made this removable. Because I just think he looks like a boss. Like that. Like, I think that's a badass armor right there. And I know pretty much for a fact that, um... YouTube's own JD Meg sixty three fourteen, I believe those are the the right numbers. Uh, let me know in the description or in the comments, you guys. But um, JD Meg he used parts of this guy for his um, Iron Man assault drone figure, which yeah, that figure was much more of a beast than this guy is. But this guy's still really nice. Um, the only thing that I really dislike about him. I mean, he's got pretty decent articulation considering the bulkiness of the armor and, like, how it's built. Um, I don't really like his legs. They can't really move back very much. They can't move out farther than that. I mean, yeah, you can rotate them and have them go forward. They do have the regular Hasbro joints. Um, but the other thing that I really don't like is the paint job. Um, and, I mean, it's fairly clean for the most part. Fairly crispy paint job. But the problem is it's just... It's a very, I don't know, it's a very non-realistic paint job. Like, here, let me quickly, quickly, quickly grab um, one more figure. So I was only supposed to grab one more figure, but I ended up grabbing three. Um, so here's the Mark VI armor uh, from the Iron Man 2 line. Excuse his uh, loss of hands. Um, they're roughly the same size. This guy's actually a little bit shorter, which I hadn't yet noticed. They do have a different head sculpt. Um, but they've got the same type of paint job where it just looks fake. And the Mark VI, this, I can't believe I'm saying this, but it actually looks better than the Hulkbuster. I, I really hated the paint job on this guy, by the way, guys. Now, this is... Now, it's not uh, the traditional... A traditional red that I would have loved or would have liked more, but, um... This is, uh... Iron Man from Marvel Legends Series 8. And he's just painted much better, much more realistic. Um, not such flashy, bright colors. And then even something by Hasbro that they released for the Iron Man 1 movie line. The Iron Man Mark 1, which, I mean, this guy is really nice. I mean, he's not amazingly articulated, but he's got a beast sculpt and beast paint job. Um, but yeah, this guy is definitely really good. Uh, I'll probably put him in a couple of shots or something. Just spend a little bit of time putting up some wall uh, stuff. I still have those up there from when I was a baby. Um, but I got my Avengers Extinction, my signed, uh, that thing. <laughs> and a bunch of other things. These are all pretty much X-Men related. Package. Alright, so I got a Deathlock, and um, I actually set up the trade to get this guy uh, in November, and um, I had shipped out, and uh, what I had traded was a uh, Series 3 Wolverine, so I didn't really care about that figure, and I had just kind of forgotten about the trade. Apparently, the Series 3 Wolverine, my package, 
that I had sent had gotten uh, stuck between some boxes or something like that. But it like just finally arrived at uh, the dude's house uh, yeah, two days ago. So he shipped this bad boy out to me. Um, I don't even really need him anymore. Um, so I'll probably turn either him or my other Deathlock into an X-Force Deathlock. Maybe sell him. We'll see. Package! Alright, so... <coughs> Excuse me, guys, but um, this is what was in that package, and I'm a little bit disappointed right now. I'm kind of not in a bad... Or I'm not really in a good mood to begin with, and then I get this package, and I'm happy, but they're not exactly how they're described. Um, now, this was through the X-Figure training community, so I'll be able to bitch this guy out. <coughs> Um, and whatnot, but, uh, I got, uh, player one Vega, <clears throat> and he was complete, and, um, he was the only of these three figures that was, uh, complete that I knew would co be complete, um, he's got good joints, he's nice and tight, uh, he's in good shape, basically, he's basically mint, um, which the guy had claimed that all three of them were basically mint. Now, um, I'll go to the Bison first. Um, Bison, <clears throat> now I knew that his, uh, alt head was missing. I was, I already knew about that. But he said otherwise, good paint apps, good condition, tight joints, everything's in good shape. And I'd seen a picture, but it wasn't like a close-up or nothing. But, um, he's got this, yeah, that blue scuff up on his shoe. <clears throat> and, um, now this might have been because of how he shipped it, because he shipped it very poorly. But, uh... Shoulder pad broken off. Not supposed to do that. And this arm was broken off as well. I mean, it can be put back on. Um, and I believe his arms are fairly easy to come off. But still, it was in... I got it broken off. <clears throat> and then Blanca is the one that I'm kind of the most disappointed in. Because um, his legs... See that? Those some loose legs. He was supposed to be in near mint condition. And, um... <clears throat> the only thing uh, Bison was missing was the alt head. He has both of his hands. And then um, the only thing Blanco was missing was the uh, second uh, alt hand. <coughs> Which I was fine with. Um, but I mean, I'm kind of disappointed. He's like, all his joints are loose. Like his head is real loose. His alternate head doesn't really fit on properly. Um, he's like hard as hell to pose because his hips are really loose. Like I got him standing right now, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna bitch. I'm gonna bitch this guy out. I'm kind of pissed right now, but I mean, then again, these are three of the hardest sodas to get, um, in my opinion, for like the player one colors at least. Um, I got all three of them for uh, one thirty. <clears throat> Bison can go for up to like a hundred himself, but if you get lucky, you can get them for probably around forty. Vega in player one colors, it kind of looks like the black, but it's not. Um, he can go for up to like sixty or so. And Blanca can also go for up to 60 or so. So I'm happy to get them for the price. But again, a little bit disappointed as well. But, uh, yeah. I think we're going to do like a little X-Men versus Street Fighter display. Well, like, series of displays, I guess. Yeah. Hopefully I'll be able to add Terex within the next couple of weeks. But right there.